Hey love, so it's time for another before and after makeup video. So prior to this video, I already went ahead and cleaned my face, moisturized it, and put on my Benefits Pore Professional Facial Cream. So I'm going to be using my LA Colors Liquid Foundation, which can be purchased at the dollar store. You know guys, this is a cheap makeup look. I try to save and do things that are really super affordable. So I'm using my Beauty Blender sponge here, which I absolutely love. And of course, I do have some OCC full coverage foundation in the color Y4, which I got three samples from Sephora. And I absolutely love it. So it was free. So that's part of the free stuff or part of the makeup look. I'm just going to go ahead and take that Beauty Blender sponge and just blend it all into my skin this foundation is beautiful it actually lasts all day and it really does do great coverage now for my eyelids I'm going to be using my Micah Beauty eyeshadow primer along with my 16 color eyeshadow palette which is LA colors from iKate house which was $3.99 I'll put the information for that below and the first color I'm going to be using is this kind of like yellow frosted color along with my Sonia Kashuk brush which I do like Sonia Kashuk a lot you can purchase these at Target and they're super affordable the next palette I'm going to be using here is LA Colors 12 eyeshadow palette which is also at iKate house and that was $1.99 I do believe there's probably like four or five different palettes but the payoff color is or the color payoff is really amazing for the price to be so inexpensive I really do like the LA colors and you want to take that darker brown and just sweep it into your crease and then I'm going to use a darker brown and just go into kind of like into the socket of my crease area and just blend that back I don't really want too much color because the eyeshadow is a yellow color and it really shows up in person a lot better than on camera and I'm really hating the pimple on my forehead right now now right into my tear ducts or rather on under my brow bone I'm going to take that white and or it's kind of like an eggshell color and blend that in and one of my favorite eyeliners is the Micah Beauty black gel eyeliner which I got from Boxy Charm as well. I love this black eyeliner gel. Like it does not dry out. It is like the best. And I'm really not that great at doing winged eyeliners. So sometimes it takes me a minute to get it done. And then I'll have to use like all types of things just to perfect it. Like a Q tip, which you see right here, just to get the eye look perfect. I want to now take that same eyeliner brush and I'm going to basically smudge that eyeliner upward and apply some of my Revlon mascara which is super cheap you can purchase it at any drugstore now one of my favorite full coverage foundations is Mary Kay but being that this is too light for my skin I decided to use it as a highlight for underneath my eye area as well as my forehead my chin and my nose bridge it really is a great full coverage foundation so once I get the perfect color match as a facial foundation then I will use it but for now I'm just going to use this as a highlight because it does last all day it doesn't give me any creasage now this is not part of the inexpensive portion but this is black ups cosmetics and this is their contour and highlight stick I really love this contour and highlight stick because it goes on really creamy and smooth the color is perfect to my skin and it just blends so well with any type of brush or beauty blender sponge I really don't use the highlight stick portion of it as much because I do just favor my Mary Kay but as far as the contour I really is a creamy um, substance and it really does work a lot now not so favorite is my Ben Nye banana powder and that's what I have so that's what I'm gonna work with and I'm just gonna use my beauty blender sponge to put that in and just set it onto my highlighted areas Now as far as my bottom lashes, I'm going to be applying the Revlon mascara as well. And I always use the tip of the wand because I don't want any mascara on my face. And to finish or to set my facial powder, facial <laughs> face, I'm going to be using Milani's Multitasker um, pressed powder in tan along with Clean Colors bronzer, which was actually a dollar at Shop Miss A, which is a really great product as well. And on top of that, I'm going to be using Fergie, which is a Wet n Wild collection. 
and I'll put the information for this particular one at the bottom. The brush that I'm using is a tulip contouring brush from SedonaLace.com and I'm going to be applying that same brush with, I'm going to be applying my Milani blush which is in T-Rose along with that brush. This pink is like a really pretty light pink and it works really well with my complexion. One of my favorites which I'm almost out of is NYX Matte Lipstick in Buttercream. I absolutely love this. And on top of that, I'm going to be applying Ooh La La, which is LA Girl's new matte velvet flat lipstick. This lipstick is like amazing. I love all the colors in their collection. And just to keep my makeup on all day, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's 18 Hour Setting Spray. And now it's time for my braids. So these Senegalese twists are actually a wig, which is from sisterwigs.com. And what I did was I, to achieve the look of making it look realistic, I just untwisted the very first row in the wig and twisted my hair into it. You can catch my video for that on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed the video and stay diva and divalicious.